In the beginning of the year, I posted a video about the Milo CNC wanting to, or I did introduce a tramming plate that I made for the Milo CNC. And this is a 3D printed version of that um, video that I posted. It was the beginning of the year. It was a few uh, CAD drawings with different mounting options that I posted. And I just want to show a few things that I did for the Milo and also what arrived yesterday. So this is the backside of the um, tramming plate. And just to demonstrate when I move the eccentric nut, how the front plate is actually moving to adjust your jaw of your Milo CNC. So yes, this project has been going on for quite a while already. And I reached out to PCB Way asking them if they would be interested in making these parts out of aluminium so that I can test them, number one, and also share them with you so that you can also take your Milo CNC to the next level and just have more fun with it and not spend um, hours um, setting up your uh, jaw or notch on the, um, on the spindle and just tram it and get the job done and carry on milling. So PCB way, definitely a big help in producing the parts. And like I said, they arrived yesterday and I'm gonna do an, an unboxing of the parts. I, I haven't even seen them. I know what they're supposed to look like, but up to now I've only had the 3D version. A few moments later. So, very exciting moment, the base plate. This is milled out of uh, 15 millimeter aluminium. And it just looks beautiful. The finishing, as always from PCB Way, is just, it's just perfect. And this, I must say, it was quite a challenge for me. Um, it was the first time I designed something that um, I had to send technical drawings with. Um, that was definitely a new field for me. I, I learned that in school many years back, but this, um, this was definitely a first for me. So if you know the Milo and if you have assembled the Milo, you will notice already the first thing, they're not just two holes for the anti-backlash nut, but there's four holes. That's one of the things that I changed. I also realigned the, um, the, the whole base plate. Um, just some, some little improvements that I made. Um, and it's actually going to be mounted like that. That's the, the right position. So the anti-backlash nut goes in here. Your um, linear rail carriages will get mounted on here. So this part here is... It's like the original, except with two additional holes. And then it is wider than your original um, uh, plate that you have on the Milo at the moment with four eight millimeter threads to put the tramming plate on top of this. So I will unpack the uh, next um, pass. I think we'll carry on with number two of three. One journey through space later. So before I unwrap this part completely, I think you can sh see the shimmer already through. It's not a black part. I decided to order the parts in different colors because I wanted to see and also share what different colors uh, look like if they're anodized. We always uh, seem to order black from PCB. I always see black or natural silver color, but I never see anodized red. And so I decided while I was designing this, to also put in some extras, like this one I decided to get laser engraved, and put the logo laser engraved, and it just looks unbelievable. It's, I don't know if you guys can see it as well as I can, but um, I'm actually starting to shake. I'm so excited to put this inside the uh, CNC. So yes, this part with the awesome looking logo, uh, PCB way, awesome job done. Um, it's, it's just crazy. Unfortunately, we're not going to see this. Um, like I said, I got this to, to test. 
but this guy will be mounted here at the back driving our spindle um, in the z-axis up and down but yes if you have a project where you're planning to put your logo on definitely laser engrave it it just it's it's perfect i have nothing nothing negative to say about it anodizing as well i know they you have to uh, tick off that you know that you will see a little mark um somewhere where they have to as they dip it into the the the, the lotion to to get it anodized over there i see a little little it's minute it's like half a millimeter but if the screw is in we won't see that it's perfect One million, zillion, jillion, dillion, cotillion times later. And this is the backside of the, um, of the tramming plate. I'm going to show the front side just now. Let's just first have a look at the, at the back part. So normally if you see um, tramming plates, they come with six millimeter holes to hold the spindle. Um, I decided to go with eight millimeter holes that we really have a, a good connection between the tramming plate and the uh, spindle mount. In this uh, series of videos that are upcoming, I did not order an aluminum spindle mount. I actually wanted to hear from you guys and please uh, comment um, below if you would be interested in seeing a aluminum a spindle mount. I will be using a modified version of the Milo uh, 3D printed uh, spindle mount, uh, but I'll get to that in a second. Then also pre-tapped uh, already are holes to uh, fit a 2.2 um, kilowatt uh, spindle. So that would be these, these holes over here. So if you decide to upgrade already and go for a 2.2 kilowatt spindle, you will be able to mount it onto this uh, onto the uh, tramming plate. And then the different holes, um, like I showed very briefly in the um, 3D printed version, this is to be able to tilt this plate and to tram it for your for for the CNC. So let's have a look at the front side. And I decided to silk screen the Mammoth logo onto the tramming plate. Also something I've never done before. And I, I wanted to see, because I would love to put my, my logo on other things that I, that I produce. And I thought it would stand off, but it's flat. It, is, it feels the same as the as the aluminium itself, and it just also came out beautiful. Thank you very much, PCB Way, for sponsoring these aluminium parts. They came out beautiful. I just love the silk screening. The, um, the laser engraving is also very, very nice. But if I would compare the two, I like the silk screening a lot more. Thank you, PCB Way. These parts look absolutely amazing. So if you like content like this or you want to see the outcome of this, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. There's a lot more coming. So this is the tramming plate. This is a new spindle mount. It, it, it looks the same as the, as the original spindle mount, but some features got added to it. For instance, the mounting plate has got these two fins on. So if you would like to see what these are actually for, then consider subscribing. And just to show what it would look like, if you want to compare it to your, your CNC at home. So there you can see the screws are standing over. So it's easy to access. You don't have to remove this part to tram the CNC. Everything will stay the same. The spindle will stay where it is, and you just tram from the plate. So that's one part that will be shown in a video. Also, this uh, took quite a while to design. If you're interested to find out for what this will and where this will be used. 
I also created a new um, Z motor mount and uh, tensioner. So this is the uh, mount as we more or less know it. There's also been some minor changes to it. I added a um, new uh, tensioner for the for the Z motor because I am not a fan of pulling and screwing and holding down nuts. I always have one hand missing, so I decided to change this part uh, to easily adjust it. I know the Milo Milo two just came out or was about to come out. They changed the concept of it, but I was actually quite happy with this with this design, the original design with the motor being mounted at the back. Um, if the motor is mounted at the top, I just find the whole CNC just gets too high for the the area that we can CNC. So also, this will be installed on on camera. Then. Some fun little parts. If you want to find out what these are for, this will also be installed onto the uh, Milo CNC. I have these parts printed in nylon. If you guys want to see what this is for. And the last part out of TPU, if you guys want to find out what this is for. All of these parts that I've just shown are going to go into the Milo CNC. Um, so we're going to start off um, in a series. Uh, I can't tell you which part. It's probably going to be this part first that I'm going to install. And then from there, on, we'll work our way up installing the tramming plate, um, installing the, um, the, the spindle itself, all the extras that come with the spindle. Um, tramming the plate and also cutting something, I don't know yet, out of aluminium or maybe carbon fiber. I'll see what material I have. Um, so all the way through. So it's going to be probably five to seven videos because I always think, oh, let's keep it short like this video. Don't make it too long. And it ends up being 10 to 15 minutes. So if you're interested, please subscribe, click that um, notification button so that you don't miss any of these videos. And I've said it already in this video, but PCB way, thank you very much. These parts just look awesome. Uh, I really can't wait. I'm going to inspect them now, actually with my own eyes and not through the camera because I, I haven't seen them. I've only seen them now through the camera, but they absolutely look amazing. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.